some new stories for you. Firstly, uh, we have uh, some pictures for you shared by Tigray backed news sources. The pictures show some POWs, prisoners of war, and Tigray backed news sources say that these are Iranian soldiers who have been taken prisoner by Tigray Defense Force. Where is the fighting ongoing between uh, Tigray forces and Iranian army? Secondly, viewers, uh, U.S. shocked the affairs uh, has met with uh, Ethiopian Supreme Court uh, President Maiza Shinafi, who is Ethiopian Supreme Court uh, 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 president, she held a meeting with Tracy and uh, Jacobson, who is uh, uh, the in charge of uh, U.S. Embassy in Ethiopia. Should judges meet foreign diplomats? Uh, thirdly, viewers, uh, we have uh, a new story about an ENDF soldier who was a taken prisoner by Romo Liberation Army just a few days ago, uh, this week, I think. Now, he uh, was interviewed by an OLA-backed news sources. And he is describing what happened to him in the past uh, one year or so, since the start of the Tigray conflict. Uh, he is describing in detail how he was deployed to Tigray, then to uh, Amhara, then Afar. His story uh, for me is very alarming. If what he is saying is true, then in coming months, we could see some developments which could be alarming for Ethiopian National Defense Force as an institution. Firstly, viewers, Tigray backed news sources have shared some pictures. They say these are pictures of Iranian soldiers who have been taken prisoner by Tigray fighters. You can see the pictures on your screen. No names have been shared by Tigray forces so far. Where have these Iranian soldiers been captured? If they are Iranian soldiers, we don't know uh, for sure. It is being said that they were captured uh, near uh, Edi Goshu. It means there is uh, fighting uh, ongoing in border areas, in some pockets between Tigray Defense Force and Eritrean military. Uh, while truce uh, is being cemented by the two parties, uh, tensions are still there. Interestingly, viewers, some analysts say that after Easter uh, this month, uh, new military offensives could be seen. They say that uh, from uh, April to June is a very crucial period. This uh, period is very conducive in terms of weather to start a new military offensive. In June, after June, rainy season starts and... Uh, military, offensive, armed hostilities decrease. So this is the time when we could see a new uh, military offensive. One has already started in Oromia, but in Tigray, between Tigray Eritrea, between Tigray Amhara, between Tigray Ethiopian government, if there is something to happen, it could happen between uh, uh, April to June, according to some analysts. Uh, no statement from Eritrea about these prisoners. Are they Eritreans? Uh, no statement from them. But Tigray back sources say these are Eritrean soldiers who have been taken prisoner by Tigray Defense Force. Secondly, uh, uh, U.S. Embassy in Ethiopia is in charge. Uh, shock defers. Uh, Tracy and Jacobson held a meeting with uh, Maiza Shinafi, who is Ethiopian Supreme Court's uh, chairman, uh, president of the Supreme Court. Uh, the lady, uh, Tracy in Jacobson, is newly appointed uh, and we are seeing that she is traveling to different places uh, and uh, we have seen her meet uh, political party leaders, government officials too. Uh, and today she met with uh, 
why is Ashwin not offering? Now, uh, should judges meet uh, foreign diplomats? Judiciary must be independent. It must be free from intervention, free from internal and external influence. Why are judges meeting foreign diplomats? Reportedly, US aid is uh, spending on some projects uh, related to Ethiopian justice sector. Uh, and for the past two years, uh, these projects have been underway. They have been under construction and uh, US aid uh, is spending on these projects. Uh, Again, I would say that justice sector must not receive any foreign aid. This sector must be independent because judiciary is the last hope. Uh, there are always uh, disputes uh, among political parties, among different groups uh, in a society. And it is the last, and judiciary is the last forum where these uh, disputes are settled. There should be no questions about the integrity of judges. They always keep low key. They keep low profile. How do you see uh, Tracy in Jacobson's meeting with Wise uh, Ashen Nafi? Should judges meet foreign diplomats? Uh, thirdly, viewers, we have a new story from Oromia region of Ethiopia, where an ENDF soldier who was taken prisoner by Roma Liberation Army has been shown on media. He was interviewed by an OLA-backed news source. His story sums up what is happening uh, to END of soldiers. And his story is alarming. I think in coming days, if this operation against OLA in Oromia continues, there could be serious problems for Ethiopian National Defense Force. Why am I saying that? Uh, let's have a look at the story of this soldier. His name is uh, Nuruddin Jibril. He is an Oromo. He was born in Jema zone of Oromia, uh, recruited in Ethiopian National Defense Force. He was deployed to Tigray. He fought there. Then uh, Ethiopian National Defense Force withdrew from Tigray. And he, along with his colleagues, withdrew from Tigray. After that, he was deployed to Kamise, uh, Romia special zone of Amhara region. There, we know that Kamise came under TDF and OLA control. So, when Kamise came under TDF OLA control, he abandoned his weapons. He surrendered his weapons to OLA and he escaped. But when he escaped and he joined his unit uh, in Ethiopian National Defense Force, he was arrested. And hundreds of other uh, ENDF members were also arrested. Why were they arrested? Because they were charged uh, with uh, having surrendered their weapons to Oromo Liberation Army and TDF. So he remained in prison uh, for several months. He was released, then he was deployed to Afar. After Afar, he was deployed to, he was sent to SNNPR. And now he is in Oromia region of Ethiopia. Here he says he did not fight. He said that he was waiting for OLA to come. He was sleeping under a tree. OLA came and he just surrendered. So he is not ready to fight. Uh, this story of uh, Nuruddin Jibrail, it sums up uh, what is happening in Ethiopian National Defense Force. If this operation against Romo Liberation Army continues, we could see Romo soldiers, part of Ethiopian National Defense Force, abandon this military campaign. They could surrender. We saw that in Tigray, if you remember. Tigrayan soldiers, Tigrayan officers, they defected. They became part of uh, Tigray Defense Force. It could happen here as well in Oromia. And Oromo is the uh, largest ethnic group in Ethiopia. If Oromo soldiers also, Oromo officers, 
if they if they start joining romo liberation army it could be a serious blow to ethiopian national defense force that is why if this operation against wale is not completed uh, quickly it could lead to serious problems for ethiopian national defense force that's my conclusion after watching the interview of nuruddin jibril uh we have seen statement from jawar beklegarba party ofc as well opposing this operation it will lead to further support for oromo liberation army in oromia uh, and ola already has some support in oromia region of ethiopia and so far we have not seen any major gains from the ethiopian national defense force or my regional force against oromo liberation army so coming weeks are very crucial ethiopian government Roma regional government they'll try to wrap up this operation soon if it is not uh, concluded soon it could be uh, it could lead to problems for endf us secondly nuruddin jibril in his interview said that he had not seen any iratian soldiers in oromia so far it was being claimed by some uh, new sources backed by ola that Iratian military had been deployed to uh, Oromia, but uh, Nur Jibril says uh, that he did not see any Iratian soldier. So, if they are there, Iratian soldiers, then they might be on some other fronts. We have no confirmation, by the way, about the deployment of Iratian military to Oromia so far. We'll try to keep you updated about uh, this ongoing operation against Oromo Liberation Army in the Oromia region of Ethiopia. Thank you for watching.